This thing has anagram written all over it. Well, I mean, not literally. Chloral hydrate. We PIs refer to this stuff as a Mickey Finn. A few drops in a drink and the lights go out. Gideon's Bible. Wonder if Jay Saint makes a royalty off these things. I'm willing to bet this chart is packed full of hidden messages, but I need something else to find them. It's a post office key, but there's no number on it. That makes this a real needle in the haystack. I guess Slade's gambling includes more than roulette. These must be his lucky numbers. I saw this thing in my book of secret codes. It's called a grill. Now we just need to find the chart that goes underneath it. These letters and numbers must refer to Bible passages. Now I just need to find out which post office.
Unless I'm way off base, this is a hit list and Slade's planning on taking out all these people. Hold on. There's a highlighted letter in each of the names. If I line them up, it spells Mill Valley. Maybe the post office key goes to box 969 at the Mill Valley post office. Now that I knew the location of the drop point, I drove like a maniac to the Mill Valley Post Office. I kept my eyes peeled, but either Slade hadn't used this place as a drop point before, or he was elsewhere looking for something to kill. I didn't want to take any chances, though, so I hurried inside and found Box 969. There were two items in the Post Office box. A Level 1 pass card for access into the Law & Order Party headquarters, and what had to be Slade's new orders. Unfortunately, I didn't have any way to decode them, not yet at any rate. I remember that Sylvia had mentioned going out that night. Since I knew her name was on Slade's hit list, it might be a good idea to keep her under wraps for a while. Tex, I'm so sorry. I got so wrapped up in your story that I completely lost track of time. Well, I've been told I have that effect on women, some sort of hypnotic power. Whatever you say, sweetie. It, it, but seriously, you know, we really have to hurry. It's not easy getting reservations at the Golden Pagoda. Well, as you know, I take the driving laws very seriously, so excessive speed is really out of the question. However, there's no shortcut. This isn't the way home. Where are you taking me? I found out some information just before I picked you up for dinner. That you're falling madly in love with me? I have reason to believe you're in the same danger your father was. Why? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm checking into it. Regardless, I'm really nervous about your safety, and I think you ought to stay at the warehouse where your father was working. But nothing's happened to me. Well, that doesn't mean nothing will. And besides, it reflects very poorly on me if my clients get bumped off during a case. Plus, I couldn't pay you if I were dead, huh? Now, yeah, that's a very good point. You're such a tough guy. Okay. I'll lay low for a few days if you want me to. But only because I don't want you to worry. Ah, there's one. Hydrant. <sighs> There's one. Handicapped. Actually, I think you can make a case for that one. Oh, that is very funny. Ah, right there, right in front of the restaurant. Okay. Told you. Sylvia back to the warehouse, I decided to go over the law and order party. Well, it was after midnight, so I figured nobody would be around. I could ransack the place. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Excuse me, sir, but this premises has been secured for the evening. I'm going to have to ask you to leave immediately. Sheesh, I'm late again, aren't I? Missed the whole rally. Do you have any beer left? Okay, wise guy. Get your hands up where I can see him. All right, look, calm down. I suppose it's okay to tell you, but uh, I am on a top secret mission for the government. I don't care if you work for the NSA. I'm gonna need to see some ID.
Listen, uh, Harry, if you're smart, and I think you are, this conversation, it never took place. You understand what I'm saying, Harry? Look, mister, I'm not looking for any trouble. But I want to hold on to my job. I won't call you in. But I need to log in the ID number off the access badge you used to get in here. Hey, man. I was just following orders. I was told to use this pass card to get in. We all got orders. We'll take just a second to write down this badge number. There's coffee if you like. I have to admit, I can make a mean cup of coffee. What the hell are you doing? Uh, oh, contact problem. Got it on again, though. Whoa. Once the coffee was spiked, I figured I should find a logical place to hide and wait for the Mickey to work its magic. Now that the night watchman was taking a nap, my first priority was to decode Slade's orders. I needed to find some kind of cipher with a lot of letters on it, and it had to be somewhere inside Law and Order. They didn't spare any expense in this bathroom. Even the graffiti is top of the line. I don't need to take a peek in these. Well, I doubt this towel's been sanitized for my protection. Now this telephone's perfect for the man who's just gotta go. I'd better steer clear of the bench. I don't know what's been on there. This one appears to be unlocked. It's a piece of propaganda from your friends at Law and Order.
Well, I guess Robert Knott isn't behind the hit list. He's on top of it. Slade's not gonna get this message, but that'll only be temporary. If I can find Knott and warn him off, maybe he'll tell me what's going on here. Nice rack. So this is where the water comes out. Ah, clever. This thing must control the water temperature. Pretty fancy. I think I can dispense with these things. I guess Law and Order doesn't have any use for mirrors, seeing as how they're a bunch of vampires anyway. They may have black hearts, but their hands are clean. I'd rather fight than switch. If more people would just use common sense, signs like this wouldn't even be necessary. I think I can dispense with these things. Lots of tables around here. It's like a showroom. I don't think I need to get in that door. I've seen used tablecloths with more artistic value. Lots of tables around here. It's like a showroom. Rebus Unitas. Didn't he play for the cults? These double doors lead into a large room, maybe a reception area. This door's locked. Oh, and I forgot to ask him whether he wanted one lump or two with his coffee. Well, someone around here is a heavy coffee drinker, and I'm betting it's our night watchman. Probably has to keep sipping it all night to stay awake. Oh, I don't think our friend here needs his keys for a while. At least until he's done with his nap. Well, I wish I had time to borrow these. They'd look great with my office decor. There must be hidden cameras in all the rooms. This could be a problem with a conscious security guard hanging around. How special, mutant meat pie. Nice clean lines, but not particularly comfy. It's Mr. Bill in a blender. Probably even nicer than the men's room, but good form prevents me from checking. No chance of getting in here. Poppies, poppies will make them sleep. You look at this painting upside down, it'll make your nose bleed. Well, there's probably nothing in there I need. Oh, it's the ID badge I handed to the guard.
One of these offices has to be Robert Knott's. I don't need to bother with the others. This door's locked. As soon as I entered Robert Knott's office, I heard the familiar beeping sound coming from a panel on the wall by the door. It was an alarm countdown. Even with the night watchman knocked out, I figured setting off an alarm would not be good. First edition, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I'm still holding out for the movie. Displays like this can be double-edged swords. Oh, I'm sure he's read all these books. I haven't seen a coat rack like this since the second grade. I'm sure he's read all these books. Well, Mr. Knott seems to have a long, pointy thing fetish. Well, I wonder what kind of birdie this is. A finch, maybe. If I ever find Mr. Knott, I'm gonna make a point of asking him about his little fixation. That key might be useful. Well, these must be from the Billy Barty collection. Knott's got his chair cranked up nice and high. Poor little guy. You just can't buy height. Post it. I should see what Mr. Knott was reminding himself to do. I wonder what's at this address. Maybe it's where Robert Knott's hiding out. Yeah, and maybe I'm the Queen of England. But I guess it'd be stupid not to check it out. Certainly appears to be a lamp. Doesn't look like Nod has much use for his computer. It's not even plugged in. Oh, I'm sure he's read all these books. These look like they just might open. Looks like Mr. Knott pulled somebody's file. Looks like Robert Knott was doing some checking up on John Klaus. Interesting. Someday, I'll have a quality vid phone like this one.
I'll need to find a little something before I can open this. Not surprisingly, most of the lockers are locked. This looks like the kind of index card I keep my Cajun recipes on. This doesn't look like any name I've seen in a Rolodex. Maybe it's a code. I guess I should play with it a bit. This lizard painting seems inconsistent with Knott's interior decorating motif. Maybe it's his favorite thing to skewer. This doesn't look like any name I've seen in a Rolodex. Maybe it's a code. I guess I should play with it a bit. Something tells me I should crack this thing. Maybe there's a clue to the combination somewhere around here. CD, and I'm guessing it's not the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack.
locked. I'll need the Law & Order ID badge in order to open this door. 